It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Raquel Pennington and Maureen Renault. Quite a bit, and this number one bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. Changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is down five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Visalia, California, presenting the challenger, Marion, the Belizean Bruiser. No. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of. 15 wins, 9 losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Raquel Rocky. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. that jumped off the card for you on one side, a fighter that can do it all, taking on maybe the most dangerous submission threat in the division. Yeah, and I was so excited about this fight because I did not know if the well-rounded fighter had the ability to not go to the ground or if she'd be willing to try and chance going to the ground with such a great jiu-jitsu fighter. Here's the kick blocked by Raquel Pennington. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick lands. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep going. 
big kick. Nice straight punch. Whiffs on the right hand. gets hit by that kick to the body. Connects with a right. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Great punch landed with so much power. Just over two minutes to go in the round. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Rocky Pennington. Under two minutes in the first round. She blocked the punch. Pennington gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. She raises the knee and lands, so a pretty good sign for her that she was able to find a home for that knee. When she's got the knees working, she's fighting really good, so right now she must go great. Pennington gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. 45 seconds remain in the round. She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job of using that as a way to dominate a fight. Oh, man, does she have the jab working tonight. Beautifully done on that exchange. She's got it going, and it's so fast and so accurate. She's really good at fighting behind her jab. Final seconds here in round one. Swing and a big miss by Renault. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and she usually attacks the body well in the lower half, but the head strikes were certainly the storyline there in our previous round. She likes to mix it up. But when she's having this type of success going to the head, she will take it over and over again. And at a point, she's going to sit on something so heavy that she's going to hope to close the show. Nice loop and punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Renault's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling.
Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? What about the one, two, three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. So 42 total strikes have already landed for Marion Renault. And landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Raquel Pennington. All right, she ain't ready for you, Matt. You be first. Straight punch lands. There she goes landing that jab again. She might have a better jab than you, DC. Oh, she's got a fantastic jab. I'm telling you, put me to put me to shame. I like to try to fight behind my jab, but I'm not sure I've ever landed him so consistently as we've seen her do tonight. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Leg kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Good stick. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Nice kick there by Raquel Pennington. Again, in the clinch. Pennington gets the tie clinch here. Oh, what a punch. Oh, brutal knee to the body. So the straight punch is there for her. Beautifully split the guard on that attempt. Even though her opponent's hands were up, she threw it right down the middle and landed exactly where she intended it to. Effective punch there by Renault. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. She works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Ooh, what a head kick. One minute now, says the round two clock. Lands the right hand. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Pennington. 45 seconds. Ooh, big shot lands. Watch knees to the body. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, beautiful hook. That's a big hook. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yes, yeah, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. All right, next round is now underway. Didn't love Ready that fight. previous round. Ready. Both women had some moments, but not necessarily the back and forth high level action. It was very slow. Both of them were very, very tentative in their approach. Who is going to make that determination that this is my fight? Somebody has to take the lead 
going into the next round. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Let me see that all right now. Come on. Nice strike. The liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. 85 total strikes and counting that have landed for Raquel Pennington. Well, more often than not, DC, when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52%, the accuracy rate against Marion Ruiz. right hand and there she goes using her jab effectively yet again her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end soon. well she's gonna have to do something I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up the jab goes to the body then the jab goes to the head if you start worrying too much about her jab on top she'll just start pounding that jab right through your midsection which, which then will just empty the gas tank that right hand landed Straight right hand, but she misses. Oh, man, that looked like it hurt. Nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Big punch lands through the middle. Pennington going for the body, missed with that kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Renault's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. They're going at it now. Nice. Keep moving. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh! All right, so the narrative in this one continues to be her educated jab and once again using that weapon to keep her opponent at bay. She started to write the story in round one and she has continued down the path to victory behind a beautiful jab. What a phenomenal, phenomenal boxer we are watching tonight. Liver kick. One minute now to go on the third. Big kick lands. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, she blocks the punch. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Renault. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Try to establish that jab. Man, high volume of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her striking throughout this fight. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. DC take us through the replay. Storyline in that round, certainly her kicking game. She knew that her opponent had more of a boxing stance, so the kicks would be available. She took full advantage of that over the course of that first round. All 
All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Renault gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. There's no tell on that leg. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Big kick lands. Ooh, not sure if she stunned her per se, but that head kick landed. She does not expect an opponent to take a head kick as cleanly as the one she just landed. Beautiful body kick. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Renault gets hit by that leg kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. As she misses with the left punch there. Bleeding from her cheek now. They continue to exchange. Oh, a beautiful land with the front kick there. Defensively, not a good sign for her that that strike got through. It landed exactly where she needed it to. She has to make changes, start turning the elbow inside to try to make her kick toe to her elbow. Once you get take that many kicks. It doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Beautiful body kick. What a punch. Oh, and she just continues to land that jab, keeping her opponent at distance. She's making this look like a video game. I mean, she's making it look like a video game. It's unreal to watch her pop that jab. It's like Joanna and Jacek before her. Fast moving, jab always started everything. And tonight, this young lady is employing that same strategy. That strike blocked by Pennington. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Outstanding kick there by Renault. Way to hide that leg kick. Another leg kick land. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing on point. Her accuracy is on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice leg kick. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Again, back into this position. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, nice jab. Visibly limping here. She blocked the punch. She's going back to that. Big kick lands. 20 seconds left. Nice punch lands over the top. Just missed with the left there. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books.
All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, here we go with our next round. I know you said off the top she might have the best kicking game in this division. And if the previous round is any indication, those words, I think, are pretty true. John, honestly, watching after that round, it feels like she may have the best kicking game in the whole UFC. Wow. Because her opponent has not been able to see or stop any of them. Why would she not continue down this path? Nice body kick. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks have landed tonight. You see that left thigh starting to show signs of bruising. Nice punch there. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations tonight. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combination fly. She's got to find the confidence in knowing that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. Renault gets hit with a kick. And they separate. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, that's a nice strike. Trying to establish that jab once again. Real nice body kick land. Back and forth we go here. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Nice kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Right hand on point. Oh, my Lord. Pass with that strike. No wind up, no tell, so her opponent does not see it coming. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, she connected flush. Liver kick. Nice straight right lance. Ooh. The nose cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Oh, that right hand is on point. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job, nice punch. Oh, she blocks the punch. Big body keep land. One, two there by Renault. Ooh, what a punch. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well, there she is in full celebration mode now after the TKO victory here tonight, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. And I'm not sure there's any 135er in the world right now that can beat this woman. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO!
Mitchell, an incredible result in this sold-out venue tonight. We have a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She is just spectacular. A great fighter, a great champion, a woman that understands what it takes to be the best in the world. Congratulations, champ.